like a different dimension came, came in there. You know, it's, it was pretty weird. Roger, Roger. Robert, do you have something else you wanted to say there about the... Uh, you, you put in something there pretty interesting. Go ahead there. Yeah, uh, it's about that, uh, I don't know if it was an Amtrak train or just a regular cargo train. Uh, one of the trains, uh, got cracked and disappeared somewhere, and nobody has been able to find it. They still see it, Robert. They still see it from time to time, Robert. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mother... My mother and my sister seen that train one night, and uh, they was coming back home, and uh, they saw that train traveling through uh, where there ain't no track, there ain't no railroad track there at all. There's no railroad, there's no train track there at all. You're uh, going, coming back from Elk into Lancaster Salem, coming down 67, and out into the cow pasture, they seen that train. It had many lights. It's a big, long, black train. It had many lights. And, uh, you know, when the, you know where passengers would be, but they didn't see no people on that train. But they, they saw that train that night, and uh, they sure did. They thought it was a train. They thought they was going to have to stop. They said, what in the world is a train going uh, crossing the road there in front of them, and there ain't no tracks there or nothing. So uh, it has been seen by people, and they're not the only ones that seen it. And uh, But I thought, well, you know, when they come out with that song, when they come out that song, don't get on that long black train, and that's what, that's what, every time they play that, that's what I remember. Yeah, I remember the song that you're talking about. Well, anyhow, anyhow, yeah, my sister's still living. They say that, and she would tell you that, what I just told you. And my mama would too, but she ain't around now. I told you, I told you all about that. Probably uh, everybody on here hadn't heard it, but Ron was told uh, uh, a story about a, a gentleman that was uh, in the military. And he was over a, a, a Minuteman missile silo, and the, the, the missile was in the silo. And uh, started, a lot of stuff started happening, like it was getting ready to to uh, take off, a lot of lights started coming on and everything, and there was a UFO hovering over it, right over the top of the silo, and it was, uh, it was, it was messing with the controls, and lights coming on like it was getting ready to, to take off, the missile was, and, uh, you know, even, uh, he sent two guys up in a, to look at it, see, you know, what was going on, and they said, well, there's a UFO up here over the missile silo, it's a silver round disc, and it's 75 or more feet wide, it was as big as they had a, he said they had a, a, a fence around that silo, it was as big as that fence, around where the fence was, it was that big, pretty good sized UFO, and, uh, he said, uh, they asked him, uh, he said, you want us to shoot at this thing? And uh, they said, no. Nah. He said, no, no shooting. <laughs> and, uh, but it stayed there for, uh, uh, he said, five to ten minutes or so. And uh, he said there were a lot of perimeter alarms went off. And, you know, that are in that, down inside that missile silo. They got all kinds of alarms and different things. And, uh, to launch him, I tell you that. But God won't allow it. So that's uh, that's what I feel like what's going on there anyhow. Oh, yep. good out here. There's uh, definitely uh, sinister uh, forces there. But uh, 
I do believe that, of course, the Roswell deal uh, really happened. There just too many people saw them and saw them collect the wreckage and, and took it to uh, all different places. And, you know, all that uh, re-engineering, back engineering, you know, everything that was on that craft was, did happen. That's why we've got a heck of a lot of good stuff now. Uh, particle, particle beam weapons, and lasers, and transistors, fiber optics, Kevlar, night vision, and you can go on and on and on. We've got all kinds of stuff from the aliens and uh, all kinds of, uh, like the uh, F-117A, that uh, pilot uh, radar uh, invading plane, man. All kinds of different things, alien technology on it and others. So there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff we pull from so far, you know. And, uh, and uh, so we're kind of fighting them off a little bit now. We didn't have any way to stop them for a lot of years, and now we're using our own weapons, our own weapons against them. And, and I think that's slowing them down a whole bunch. That's why you don't see them around so, so much. Oh, really? That's when you first 
heard the story anyhow. Uh, do you know anything else about it, what year it took place, and, and where it happened, or where it took place at? The way I understood it, Chuck Crack and uh, disappeared right then. Uh, I'm going to be able to watch state, uh, watch state, or where, where, or where did it happen?
scientific family, you know, and uh, but they transported from one location to another like 40, 50 years ago or more. So they've been working on transporting and going back in time for years. There's no doubt that we've got all that. We got it. There's no doubt about it. And I've looked at programs where, uh, you know, there there's a possibility we're even sending people back in time to change change certain things. Like uh, you send someone like the Terminator. You know, a source radio where they sent him back in time to get that, uh, the lady who had the child, the child was the leading forces against them, you know, uh, in, in the, against the uh, Terminators or the robots in the future. Well, they, they sent the source radio and the Terminator back as a Terminator to get to uh, take out this woman that had the, had the baby and the son that uh, was a leader against them. So, <laughs> you know, they, uh, that's po entirely possible, the things that are happening now. You just never know. Who are you going to look at it this way? Look at California. All the robots that they're building and making out there just for a movie? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, in time, and I mean, in uh, the way all these uh, machines and all are, uh, you know, everything is uh, is uh, thinking for itself now. With all this, all this new stuff we've come up with, uh, there is no doubt they've got things now they can drop out of a airplane that can go down and kill uh, people, uh, like little little creatures, or, you know, they can set these little robots to do anything, make them any size they want, uh, and they've got thinking about, I'm sure they're working on uh, troops, like android type troops, you know, where they go down and, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of movies, you know, with Jim Claude Van Damme, and uh, the movie, you know, where he, he Assemble their own uh, 
of people in all these high offices and things. They can run the world, you know, by doing that. Yeah, one thing about it, like you're saying on Corona, the reason why the government ain't allowing it right now is because at the event, uh, when that person died, when that clone gets to that same age of where it died at, after that is when it starts uh, messing up and ha having all kinds of horror and, act and going mad. And that happens for a lot of them. So they just uh, dismiss it.
little peanut butter. They just plain old soft things with a little peanut butter. Or maybe, or maybe some Vienna sausages, you know, stand up in a can. Vienna sausages and some crackers. You know, I, I saw a you know, that Thank you. 